Are we really missionaries? <laughs> I'm making this video because when we first started planning to come to Thailand, we really didn't consider what we were doing missions work. And I really am not exactly sure why. So it came about because my husband wanted to study the music here for the purposes of trying to get some Christian music um, that was in the more traditional Thai style. And I also just wanted to be a support to Wolfgang and Diane in what they were doing. And it was just something that we really felt called to do. And through various circumstances, my husband ended up quitting his job. And so originally we, he was just thinking of coming for like five weeks over the school holidays. But then when he stopped working, we thought, well, we could actually go over for an extended period of time. We had the idea that we could rent out our house and the money from that we could live off. And we had a fair bit in savings as well. And so, yeah, we just kind of thought, oh yeah, let's go for it. And then as we were preparing, um, we got directed to the missions organization that Wolfgang and Diane are like under. And so, you know, they did like an interview with us and it's like, well, why are we getting interviewed? We're just going over to, you know, see some friends and help them out for a little bit. Um, and then, you know, people were talking about us being missionaries and we're like, no, no, we're not missionaries. We're just going over to help out some people we know and um, Matt's going to study the music and, you know, and yeah, this went on for a while and I never considered that we were being missionaries and then we got here and we looked at the activities sort of that we were doing and the fact that we had moved to a foreign country for the purposes of advancing the kingdom of God and all of a sudden <laughs> I was like yeah that's kind of the description of a missionary huh <laughs> and Diane also helped me in this when you know I said to her that we didn't feel like missionaries and she's like well you're not here for a holiday and I'm like, well, no, we're not. So what are we here for? And then, like, yeah, when I thought about it, it's like, yeah, we're doing missions work. Huh. So to be honest, in a lot of ways, I feel like I was kind of tricked into being a missionary <laughs> because it just wasn't what we set out to do. Um, I've always been very passionate about um, missions work. But I was always someone who was more supporting those on the field um, with prayer and with finances and just um, with contact as well. And it was never something that I actually wanted for myself, the thought of going to another country, especially where I didn't speak the language and didn't understand the culture. I just felt was kind of like pointless. It was like, well, who am I to go in and I don't know. I. I just felt that it wasn't my place to do it. But here we are and <laughs> we're doing this thing and we're also doing it as a family, which is really cool. I've been really amazed and encouraged at how much the kids are really a crucial part of what we're doing. Um, so that's been much more so than I thought. I also thought that most of what I would be doing would just be looking after the kids and homeschooling them. And whilst yes, that is a very large chunk of what I'm doing. And I think that's maybe why I also didn't feel like I was so much missionary because it's, I just thought, well, what I'm doing isn't really that much different to what I do back at home. Like I'm involved in church and I try to bless my community in every way that I can. and. Then I look after the kids and I thought, well, coming over here, I'm probably going to be involved in some church stuff and I'll be wanting to bless the community and I'll be looking after my kids and even more so because they'll be home instead of at school. And yeah, so I guess I just didn't feel like I'd be doing things all that much differently than what I previously had. But I guess since being here, I realized that the reason that um, missionaries are needed is because in places like where we are, there's just not very many Christians. And so ideally the few Christians that are around would just be saving lots of other Christians and then so it would spread like that. But you know, it's still a big job. There's a lot of people and so more people are needed. And 
So here we are. Um, there's plenty of Christians back in Australia who can talk to the people I was talking to and reach the people I was reaching and do pretty much everything that I was doing. But here there's not quite as many people to do this work. I still feel the message is best brought by people who are native to the country and understand the people and the customs and all those kinds of things. And that way we're not just bringing our Western Christianity and stamping it on people. But I do just want to share that I have always believed that all Christians are missionaries. If you're a school teacher, teaching in a school, that is your mission field. Even though you're not allowed to say anything about God, like, it is still your responsibility to bring the kingdom of God to that place and to bless the people around you, to care for them, to love them the way God loves them, to show them that they are valuable. And then you can come home to your family and it is your job to raise your children the way God has shown you to raise them and to love your partner and to encourage other Christians around you and seek God on what he wants you to do in your community and how you can bless that community. You might not feel like you're a missionary, but you are. You are in a place where you can reach people uniquely. You might be the only Christian in your workplace, but even if you're not, you are unique and so you can reach people in a way that other people can't. And the other thing about being back in countries like Australia, and I've always been quite big on this, is that you can give to missions because your little bit of money, gosh, it goes a long way. If you can just give like $25 to missions in an area like where we're in, that's essentially what a person would earn in a day. We're going out today to get um, a bunch of stuff to take out to the village to do games and stuff with the kids. And all up, it's probably gonna cost us between 10 and $20. Back home in Australia, getting the same amount of stuff, we'd probably be spending like, I don't know, a hundred bucks or something. And so let's just say we didn't have the money to do that. And you're sitting in Australia and you have an extra, you know, $15. That would make all the difference to a missionary who is trying to do their work and bless their community. And so I encourage those uh, who are in financially blessed circumstances, which most people in Australia are, please give to, you know, whatever God leads you to, because your money does really go a long way. And that's how you can be a support to missionaries, because we are a body and we don't do this in isolation. And other than that, the most important thing you can do and thank you so much to everyone who has been doing this is pray so please pray for us pray for the missionaries you support prayer is so important and so valuable so please keep praying for us um, pray for Wolfgang and Diane I'm very happy to send very specific prayer requests if you would like and I quite often post on the page things that um, we need or want prayer for so if you want to contact me for more specific prayer points, please do, and I will send them on. And we are also praying for our friends back home, so we are praying for you too. And feel free to send us prayer requests, so we can specifically pray for things for you as well. See you next time.